Hello everyone. So for this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the grease pencil and just how I've been working with it. So starting off in the uh, 2D animation scene, um, for this, what I'll do is load factory settings and we still have hard hops loaded. Excellent, we'll get rid of that panel. And I'm just showing you how I've went about setting up my default scene. I've deactivated the camera and I also turn off overlays, but before all of that, uh, we'll add an additional layer here, move it down one, and what we'll do is set up a mirror, turn on this final button so it shows up in edit mode. We're just gonna put a couple of X's here and notches, just so I know what's going on on this layer, like so. And then from here, I'll click on lines. And this is my default scene, actually. Uh, in fact, if I press one, and I look at it from the front view without the camera, um, where it's an infinite canvas, if I zoom out, I lose it because it's so faded. Um, but this is how I typically set up my scenes for Grease Pencil. So we go ahead and save startup file. This will be how I start out. Um, I like to just come in here and just sketch with symmetry. Um, you know, I've been using this instead of Sketchable, which was my uh, favorite app previously. And so I would just um, do these sort of things while goofing off with um, everybody. We'll look at an orthographic. And it's at this point that I turn overlays off. Um, and we'll just start messing with some ideas and shapes. So, you know, just draw in like a visor and do something like this. Just putting a couple of lines in here. Something to just start off with. A couple of dividing lines. And there we go. So pressing Q will bring up the uh, hard ops, not that one. Pressing Q will bring up the uh, helper, which um, in the future, I want to have mirror, uh, instead of being a mirror tool, being able to toggle whether mirror is on or not. Um, but at this time, I want to actually use a copy move, which will move it over. And then I use the F6 to set my move to be uh, 3.5. And then I'll just start sketching on this version that's been newly created. So I do want to um, add a future tool that will allow it to uh, duplicate and mirror using the previous mirror as an offset, um, you know, like a mirror mirror, but for grease pencil. So that way I can add on to these sketches and add arms and legs and full body. So I've been messing with that as well because it, it would be cool to um, be able to make this a little more like sketchable um, is my hope personally. Um, when I look at the grease pencil, I'm like, wow, this could be like my paint and Krita and everything just wrapped up into one. Um, so we'll just keep drawing here, just putting in some random lines. You know, we'll put a little bit of a cut in there, make it a little more robotic. Bring up the eraser. So, you know, there's not a lot I can really be saying during the process of sketching. You know, usually I time lapse all this stuff because it's just um, being lost in thought, you know. Probably the uh, less I talk, the better I will do. But since um, you know, I'm talking in this video, I gotta just keep conversation flowing. So there's my second variant, and now I'll press uh, Q and just do copy move again. And then we'll just come back with the eraser and just undo a couple of areas of the face, remove the uh, antennas. I'm really into the antennas idea. I want my next big robot to have a humongous antenna. Um, also do a robot that's maybe a 90 degree pipe and call them 9T. Uh, Craig suggested that. I've just been rolling it around in my head ever since. I think he said that a few months ago. Um, <clears throat> so we'll just draw a giant circular right in the middle of the head because That'll give them some stuff going on. Just keep drawing. And hopefully I put some music on here so that way there's um, something about the dead air. 
So continuing on. And so I could even press press Q. I keep pressing tilt, but I'm gonna have to switch those buttons on the remote. And then we can just come back and remove parts that we didn't like about the last variant. Let's start narrowing it down. Changing fundamental things. See if we can uh, simplify it and just start making these very varied as we move along. Now at this time I'm currently working on something called a NUC, which is like a very small computer. Um, I started having issues with the AMD computer and uh, that's all I can really say on it at this time until I know what caused it to start acting weird. Um, but all I can say is I think Blender killed it. You know, I think I blended too hard for too many days without turning it off. So now the NUC is my bay. So continuing on, just sketching, sketching along. And this is our third one. We scroll through, we got four variants. So we're working our way just through the sheet. And the goal isn't to, you know, rack up these variants. The goal is really to, um, you know, have fun here. So <clears throat> this is a lot of how I spend my day sometimes. Um, you know, we'll be talking about hard ops and box cutter. Everybody will be uh, cutting boxes and sometimes I'll just jump into grease pencil. So over the course of hard ops um, 0098, I did spend a lot of time just thinking about tools. There's a lot of things I want to do uh, for Grease Pencil this release that didn't make it, mainly because um, efforts were heavily divided between uh, expansion and new systems and helpers. Uh, it was just a mess. So I can't wait to um, get back to that. So just working on this thing, still just cutting in shapes. I can. Um, Take my eraser, cut this part out. Let's go, let's channel our inner Veldoc. So this would be open. Just have some hoses in here. Hoses with the grease pencil coming soon. Just, <laughs> just thinking out loud. Um, you know, as I use Blender, all I can think about are problems that could be solved that I run into in workflow and those are usually my favorite discussions to have with customers and users are you know the things that that could be improved that uh, especially the ones that don't take a whole lot of effort you know or things that we just have to change on our end to make your life better uh, what happened there I don't know what happened there I do not know. Okay, there we go. We're back. Whew. Almost thought I lost one. I'm gonna say that's an unpredictable result. I usually I don't get any crashes inside of Grease Pencil, even though Blender is having a moment at this time. I believe it'll pass over the next couple of days and things will be back to normal. But at this moment, Blender is um, just getting a little, little crazy. Um, I've been getting a bit of messages about uh, blue box and box cutter. So that's something that we're also looking into. So we look back through these where we've come from and we press uh, Q and I see that what we want to do next time is be able to choose which of these sketches we want to play off of going forward because, you know, I think I want number one, but instead I keep having to uh, use the previous layer to iterate off of uh, as far as ideas go. So, I mean, it's just like that, um, you know, ideas come about and, you know, internally I have a, we have a saying, I'm like, you know, let's get this idea together before I sound like a crazy person talking about things that don't exist yet. And, you know, afterwards it's like, wow, this thing now exists. And it's because of you guys, um, always, um, a great moment. And so continuing on here um, not to be talking about hard ops so much actually this is kind of a hard ops tutorial but just saying now we need the ability to 
choose which sketch we iterate off of as well as create uh, mirror objects based off of it. So I'll have to give some thought to that. I was saying it would be cool if um, there was an XY system where you could, um, you know, also want kit ops to support uh, Grease Pencil, which would allow us to insert sketches and kit bash with them, which I think could be a really cool idea. So from here, I'm gonna press Q, not Control tilde, and we'll move it again. And from here, we will just remove this center dot because I keep adding it and I keep removing it because center dots are just cliche. It must be avoided. So that's why I've been kind of um, eyeless lately with my models. Um, you know, I was giving everybody camera eyes at one point and now I've just kind of just started going for the visor look. So another thing is that I could also be laying down some like base shades. So if I wanted to, I could go under a um, draw block and change this to fills. We'll just put a couple of fills in here just to um, kind of give it a little bit of shading. Just there, 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 there. Also, I've been meaning to play with the new ZBrush. I finally got it installed. The download took 800 eternities, but everybody's been telling me about the new features that I would just <laughs> fall in love with. So, I, you know, as soon as I end this video, I'll probably be playing with that. But I did want to do a video where uh, I just, live tested it along with um, the current box cutter and hard ops and just see how Z Remesher does with um, hard ops models. So continuing on, I really gotta switch those buttons. I can do a copy offset and notice that I even keep the shading with it. So if I jump up to lines, I can um, <clears throat> start working on that. And I'm just gonna go in sculpt mode and Do a little bit of sculpting, just playing with shapes. Also, want to throw out there that um, I am talking about the idea of making like a um, like a free GP tools um, type utility that would contain all this stuff. Um, putting it in hard ops wasn't really my initial intention, but it was just convenient at the time. It's just really easy for us to add things to it, but. I do want to, in the future, make some sort of standalone uh, free grease pencil thing that would help bring people into this tool and make workflows um, for using Blender for concepting a little bit easier because I see that it's already there. It just needs a little bit of a push. Um, and of course, the ideas I have probably differ from the people actually working on this. Shout out to Antonia. God, that brush looks terrible. Um, makes me look like I have hand problems. Let me go back to draw ink where I can look like I do not have problems. Just all this shakiness. So put one there. You know, I always love putting those, you know, got me thinking of ZBrush right there with adding nose. And we probably want to go back to a sketchy pencil because these lines have nothing to do with the previous ones. It doesn't even uh, fit in right. So, you know, I'm gonna have to probably go back to pen and just ink this up just a little bit to um, help it read better. So, just modeling on here, nothing major. And, you know, if I was doing a tutorial, I'd be like, you know, I'm just clicking and dragging my pen over and over. Um, if you have a Wacom, I definitely recommend it. If you have a Huey on, I recommend getting a Wacom and then trying it. Also, no phantom strokes this video so far. So it's actually a pretty good video. Uh, I do hate the uh, phantom strokes. I've been also meaning to get back into um, sculpting and do some uh, sculpting content for you guys since the uh, last video was so well received. And now that Hard Ops is out there in the wild, we can finally um, get down on some modifier madness because we can't let others have all the fun. We want in on it too. So right here, just drawing another cover. Love covering visors, I mean love covering helmets. And so that one's the next idea. And so I'll just press Q, copy, move, put this one out here. We'll go into uh, sculpt mode. 
and just play with proportions. So this one's like the Darth Vader one, you know. Um, just a little morning grease pencil. I was talking to my girlfriend about getting something to eat, but she went back to bed. So that leaves me to figure out what to eat. But I was hoping to figure that out over the course of this video. So continuing on, you know, unlike the last ones, we'll give this one eyes. Maybe, uh, maybe make it look like a skull a little bit. You know, skulls are my favorite shape to go towards when I can't think of anything as far as um, shape language. And, you know, maybe we'll even make it a little bit transparent so it can't be seen. And so if I zoom out, you can see what's going on here. In fact, I drew quite a, geez, really? I drew a lot of variants here just goofing off, but hopefully this will kind of give you an idea of how I approach uh, the grease pencil tools with hard ops and hope that you guys also get in there, do some sketches. I'd love to see them, uh, post them on the hard ops discord, of course. Um, hashtag grease ops, just kidding. Um, hard ops will do, but with that, I'll end this video and I'll see you guys next time.